Hi guys, I'm Whitney of Sugar and Sparrow and today I'm showing you how to crumb coat a cake and why it's important. Basically, a crumb coat is just what it sounds like, a coating of buttercream that's meant to catch all of the loose crumbs from your cake layers beneath and seal them in so they don't appear in your final frosting finish. It also helps create a smooth foundation for that final layer of frosting, especially after you crumb coat and refrigerate to let it set up nice and firm. I like to start on my crumb coat as soon as my cake layers have been filled and stacked. I add a thin layer of buttercream to the top of the cake and smooth it down with an angled spatula. This works best with buttercream that's thin or medium consistency, aka not too thick or stiff. So if you find that adding the buttercream is ripping the cake as you smooth it down, you'll want to put it back in your stand mixer and add a few more teaspoons of room temperature liquid like milk or whatever binding liquid your buttercream recipe calls for. This will make it much smoother and easier to work with when you're crumb coating and eventually frosting the cake. Once the top is smoothed down, I add a thin layer of buttercream to the sides of the cake. When they're covered entirely, I take an icing smoother and go around the cake to smooth the sides and remove as much excess buttercream as possible without tearing into the cake. After I get the side smooth and level, I swipe any excess buttercream that's formed around this top edge towards the center of the cake. This helps create sharp edges all around the top. The purpose of the crumb coat is to trap those extra crumbs in the thin layer of buttercream, but also to shape the cake's foundation. So I like to get my crumb coated cake as level all around as possible to make the final frosting process much easier. When I'm happy with the crumb coat, I place the cake in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes to firm up before I continue decorating. Chilling the cake really seals in those crumbs and it's so much easier to frost a smooth buttercream finish on a cake that's been chilled versus one that has the layers shifting underneath since they're not quite as set. It makes a world of difference and if you haven't tried it, I hope you give it a shot next time you decorate a cake. If you want to follow along with this Cake Basics series and all of the other fun cake videos I release, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a new one. You can also head to my blog at sugarandsparrow.com for all of my favorite recipes, baking tips, cake decorating tutorials, and so much more. Thanks for watching.